New information tonight, corn growers across the country, including here in North Alabama, are scolding Bud Light. Their Super Bowl commercial targeted their competitors' use of corn syrup in their brew. Way 31's Sydney Martin talked with one of our area's largest corn farmers about why he won't be drinking Bud Light anymore. I'm standing at some of the half million of bushels of corn Henderson Farms will grow this year. They told me they grow a safe and effective product, just not for the environment, but also for consumption. Stunned, uh, then frustrated, and uh, on a personal level, I, I hurt because it's, it's a shot at agriculture. That's what was going through Stuart Sanderson's mind Sunday night as he watched one of Bud Light Super Bowl commercials. Always intrigued at what commercials are going to come out and then as the commercial progressed and they got into the part about we do not use corn syrup in our beer, it really struck a nerve with me. Sanderson told me his family has been growing corn in Limestone County for four generations. It's grown on more than 3,500 acres of land. I think a lot of misinformation was given out in just a few short seconds in that commercial. Bud Light claims it uses rice, not corn syrup, in its beer. Sanderson said there are more than 300,000 corn farmers in the United States, and he wants to set the record straight when it comes to corn syrup. Sugar is sugar. Corn syrup is safe. You know, from a grower standpoint and even from a national standpoint with the National Corn Grower Association, just really discouraged that they painted corn in a bad light. Sanderson did tell me the corn grown on his family's farm mostly goes to feeding chickens at other farms in the area, but he said the farming community is like a family. We do have one goal in mind, and that's to secure our food for this country. We feel food is a national security issue because of the quality that we provide. And so when it comes to an issue like this, yes, we all unite as one. Sanderson told me corn farmers here in Alabama and across the country take a lot of pride in growing corn and were disappointed how the Bud Light ad painted their process in a negative light. In Limestone County, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. The backlash on social media was swift. Last night, Anheuser-Busch released a statement saying it supports corn growers and will continue to invest in the corn industry.